Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. James Cleaner here on another day. We're checking out the Fur Eel. Fur Eater. You can get these over at the Rag Company now. As you can see, it's got some little teeth. Comes, you can buy just the tip or you can buy this little adapter part, which is what I had to do to be able to use it with the vacuum here. So this is a rubberized material with teeth. It's supposed to jerk the fur up and suck it up at the same time. So this tool is going to try and replace uh, simple fixes, kind of like the pumice stone or even the more recently popular lily brush. Instead of having to work twice with the brush or the pumice stone, rake it all up and vacuum, try and do it in one fluid motion. So let's go ahead and get this joke out the way. Is the fur eel for real? Let's check it out. So I was a little extra OCD with it, but pretty good so far. I've lost no teeth, but you can see they are starting to chew up a little bit. That was just one floor mat. So I'm gonna do the rest of the vehicle. I'm gonna do the floor mats and the rest of the vehicle carpet. And we'll see if this thing gets ate up and survives and does the whole vehicle or what. All right, let's check it out.
So anyway, you can see it's pretty badly worn down for just one use, one vehicle. I'd say it's probably gonna get three or four vehicles before it's completely flat, but mine survived one, I think pretty good. So I think you're gonna get about three to four vehicles out of a tool like this. So I think they definitely need to get a stronger rubber or make these teeth thicker or some, something's weird where it really wears down pretty fast. Mine was pretty good, but I was also using a pull lift and pull motion like you would do with a brush or a pumice stone. You brush into one pile, but while I was kind of brushing, I was sucking it up. So, definitely did what it was intended to do, and it uh, worked pretty good. I mean, uh, I definitely think they need to improve it. This is uh, 15 bucks per fur eel. So, you know, that's uh, if you get three cars, that's $5 a car. That's kind of a high, high price a little bit, but uh, no, I think it needs work. I think it kind of needs to go back to the drawing board. I think you should get, you know, at least, it just needs to be improved. I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting at here, but it needs to be improved a little bit. So I would suggest not buying this. I wouldn't recommend this to be purchased this year, like anytime soon. I would wait, see if they go improve it, see if they make an improved version, thicker teeth, tougher rubber, something. Cause it, uh, it does work. It's a great product that I think just needs a little more improvement and then it's gonna be a really great product. It's gonna be a, pretty much a perfect product if they can get it, you know, at least last year a little while, three to four cars isn't the best. I've heard reports of surviving one car. That's not good at all. 15 bucks a car, I don't think it's very cool when you can get a brush or a pumice stone and you know, that was gonna last you years. Just a little extra work. But uh, I enjoyed using it. Oh, I couldn't get into little crevices. Like right here, you're not gonna get in there. I had to switch to my crevice tool, kind of finish it out. You can see there's a hair that I left behind in there. So I couldn't quite, can't get in the crevices too well. Oh man, it's hot. All right, but uh, that's all I got with the fur reel. I suggest waiting to see if they make an improved version, new and improved version. Maybe next year, 2021. Right now, I, I say just uh, wait, give it a pass. 15 bucks, one car. I think this one's gonna last three to four, but I've heard reports of just surviving one car. So give it a pass, wait for a new improved version. That's all I got. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one.